Is that good? Yeah. This is kind of intimate, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm Fred Van Vliet, a professional basketball player. Yeah. Girl, I mean, there wasn't a lot to go around in my family. There was not a lot of money to go around, so we definitely had to earn our keep and work for it. And my earliest memory of money as a kid is just trying to do chores for my mom. So I get, you know, a dollar, two dollars here to to go to the store and buy some candy. I always remember my birthdays were like the biggest days because I would get $10 or $20. Yeah, I think the dumbest thing that I spend my money on, I'm, I'm pretty good with money. I'm kind of cheap, obviously growing up without it, it will make you that way. Last year was my first year. And uh, I think the first pair of shoes I bought was six, seven hundred bucks. And, you know, I felt so stupid afterwards because like so many things I could have got with that amount of money. and you know, 70 whatever basketballs for this price. My relationship throughout the team is just being comfortable in my own skin. And I'm on the team with guys who make 30 times more than what I make. I don't have to keep up with them. I'm pulling up to valet and, and they're asking me, am I okay? I think you're lost, sir. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm here. I'm on the team too. So you just gotta be okay with that and, and not try to keep up or you'll be broke. Honestly, you have to live within your means. and and I've always been comfortable in my own skin. When it comes to my daughter, I'm terrified of, of these money conversations we're gonna have to have, and how do you raise a kid who's born a millionaire? When I was a kid and I wanted something, my mom had to tell me no, whether she wanted to or not. When my daughter asked me for something, I'm gonna have to force myself to tell her no. Pretty much nothing she could ask for that I couldn't get her. That's a scary thought. My biggest thing with her is just like, give her all the tools and resources she needs, and as long as we can do our part to make her a, a good person with a good heart, then, you know, whatever, we'll deal with the rest. My daughter's gonna be the hardest working princess there ever was. I live pretty, pretty, you know, modestly, honestly, for what I make. And uh, I probably live off, you know, 20% of my income. But it's just about thinking about the future and how do I sustain this? Just trying to create good habits and a way to do things that will sustain no matter how much or how little money I have. That's a cut.